they're playing very good hockey right now. Um, they're a good, they're, they're a very good hockey team. They've got a lot of returners back from last year. They've got some, you know, they've got some potent scores. I mean, Lofgren, um, you know, Lofgren generates a lot of offense. Mitch Nardi uh, generates a lot of offense. Um, you know, Gantos does, um, you know, so, I mean, and they've got other guys too. Um, they've got some, they've got some snipers. They got, um, some skill on the power play and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's just going to be another battle in the, in, in the WCHA. Every game is different challenges. And you, know, you, you hope that um, we can get some consistency to our power play. Boy, it'd be great to get a power play goal a game the rest of the way through. I mean, that's your goal is just to get a, I don't care what we are. I don't care what our percentage is. We can go one for 10. We can go one for two. I just want to get one goal a game. These games are so critical right now as far as, you know, where you're going to end up in the standings and, you know, we've got uh, 10 games left, so, uh, and we've got some makeup games at the end. So uh, it's just, uh, it's, it's that time where, we, you know, we're, we're, we're looking at, you know, where we're going to be in the standings and how critical these games are every night. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's tough. I mean, this is, you know, such a un, uh, unique year in the sense that, you know, we've had all these games canceled and, um, you know, really what it comes down to is just focusing on, you know, every week is, is sort of its own sort of little playoff. I mean, you know, we have to prepare like it's that much more important because, um, you know, we just don't really know how many games we're going to get at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, you know, we, we definitely do have, uh, you know, a little bit of a sense of urgency here just to squeeze in as many points as we can here before the, you know, before the stretch and, you know, getting into the playoffs. We're starting to get on a little bit of a roll here and, um, you know, taking care of things at home, um, you know, in terms of COVID and everything, I think is, is a really big thing that we talk about a lot. And, you um, you know, so far we've been we've been pretty good about it. Um, you know, about policing ourselves in the locker room. So, you know, we're just we're looking forward to the next four or five weeks here. Um, you know, it's definitely going to be huge for us. It's nothing really much you can change. I mean, it's kind of out of our control anyway. You know, all we can do is just, you know, keep winning games and just keep playing every game like it's going to be our last. Because honestly, we don't even know if we're going to be able to play next weekend or not. You know, you never nothing certain in this in this year right now. And like I said, you can't, we can't really control that. We just have to keep doing where, you know, we can only control the things that we can control and that's just winning games day in and day out. So that's all we're trying to focus on. And I'm sure it's the same message that 25, 30 teams in college hockey are telling their teams right now. You just got to win. You got to win games. And by winning games, you don't have to, you know, you're not looking back, but once you lose, it gets tough. I mean, it gets tough. So, um, you know, I tell our guys there, it's pressure on you, pressure to win, but, if there's pressure on you, that means you're having a good year. And that means you're in the running.